Hi, I'm here with Chris Simmons from the Moore Center. How are you today, Chris? I'm doing well. Good, good. Thank you for doing this. Really appreciate it. Um, you ready to get started? I'm ready. All right. So first question, why did you join College for America? Well, I wanted to go to college, and I'm... <laughs> I'm in my late 40s and I have a daughter in college and another one going in a couple of years. So really spending the money on college for me wasn't really an option at this point. And this came about through my work. It was something that was really exciting to me and so here I am. Great. That's awesome to hear. Um, so I guess since you've started, what have you done in this program that has surprised you about yourself? All of it. All of it. Uh, there's a lot of things I didn't think I could do like this. I've had to videotape myself twice so far. I've <laughs> had to create some e-profiles, which I'm not a social media person. I've evaluated some art. I've done a real estate package. Everything that I look at that I think at first, oh, I don't think I could do that. I've done. I just got a certificate in the mail for completing 60 competencies. So, then a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. Um, how have you been doing with with scheduling? You know, some students may um, find scheduling difficult. Um, how have you been able to kind of keep track of your schedule? I make myself. I I work full time for the Moore Center in the day from 7:30 to 3. And then during the school year, I bartend at a local college part-time. And when I started this, I only worked two nights a week, and I had my plans all made, and I was all set with the time I was going to commit. And then someone quit, and I ended up working three and four nights a week on top of my job. So I just, my family's really supportive, so I'm lucky. Um, I just tell them I have to go to school, I'm doing, and I just make, a goal each week to submit at least one thing and I just if I had to put off laundry or if I didn't do something fun I wanted to do I want to do this so I make myself sit down I spent a whole weekend one time doing the art one I just locked myself in my room and told everyone I was at school and leave me alone and so the support of my family has been really great they'll pitch in with the house and the cooking and luckily both my daughters can drive themselves places mm -hmm. so I just made it a priority and really just make myself take the time to do it. Yeah, so it sounds like you've you've committed to the program. Um, you know, some students may find it difficult to commit. Um, can you explain maybe how you've overcome that challenge or how you're able to stick to your plan and, and stick to your commitments? Oh well, I'm stubborn for one thing, and I said I'm going to do it, <laughs> and so by golly, I'm going to do it. So I might be doing it at 10 at night, I might be doing it, you know, I'm on my couch right now and this is, sit here in my pajamas and go to school and I just make myself do it. I look at some of the assignments and I think, oh, I'm really not interested in that, maybe today. So I just go through and I look at all of the assignments until I find one that today I can work on. Maybe I only have an hour and a half so if there's a, a worksheet maybe I can do in that hour and a half that I have, I've just done it that way. So I've skipped around through it through the program and done things out of the order that I've received them. I don't put pressure on myself to do them in order or compare to maybe how many things other people have done. I just, what I can today, I will. If today I'm tired and I need to rejuvenate, I rest today and then tomorrow maybe I put a little bit more into it. I just make myself. I schedule it in. What advice do you have for College for America students that are just kind of starting their journey with this Don't program? Don't give up. I know a lot of people, at my job several of us are doing it and some people had some technical issues and then some of them have some scheduling issues and they, oh I just don't think I can and I'm kind of the cheerleader. You can do it. Just keep going. Don't give up. I know a lot of them will say, oh, well, I'm really struggling, say, writing a paper, which all of us in our 40s maybe haven't written a paper in 30 years. Mm -hmm. So my advice is always just go ahead, do what you think, submit it, and that's why you have someone reviewing it, and, and they'll send it back, and then you know what you need to fix or what you need to work on. 
So just don't give up. Go ahead and submit your work, or there's plenty of places that the CFA community where you can ask questions. We've been lucky at the Moore Center because several of us see each other and we talk. So just keep at it. You can do it.